Hey, Pablo Gunner here to talk nerd to you about Ant-Man and the Wasp 2? Quantumania? Quantumania. Or Ant-Man 3, whatever. As you should know, I'm obsessed with Marvel. Not just because of my shirt, which I should have worn when I went to go see it, but didn't. But whatever. But look, look at all this crap that I have. Look at it. Look at it right now. Okay, do you see? Do you see all of this? There's a lot. There's a lot there. You may not know. There's a lot there. And you know what there's not a lot of, though? There's not a lot of Ant-Man. There's not a lot of the Wasp. There might be some. There might be a few things. But not a lot. And you know why? Because there's not that many good Ant-Man and Wasp comics or storylines. There's some out there. I'm not saying there isn't. But there's there's not a lot. Not There's not like Batman books where you're like there's so many batman books where you're like phenomenal there's so many superman books there's so many spider-man books you know there's so many captain america books are just like mind-blowing right but there are some for example there's a scott lang one which he gets trapped in the quantum quantum verse quantum universe quantum mania and with nadia van dyne in fact and and that was epic but I'm here to talk about the movie, which I liked a lot. I really digged it. It was a blast. I really enjoyed it. It was Ant-Man. It was Ant-Man in every way, right? And the Wasp. And the Wasp. And the thing is that what's really cool is that they have Ant-Man and the Wasp. And they have generations now, right? Like, they have the first generation Ant-Man and the Wasp. They have the second generation Ant-Man and the Wasp. And now they have Scott Lang's daughter, which... She's going to go by stature. That's her name. I don't know if she's going to go by that, but that's her name in the comics. So anyways, it's so cool because of that generational change, right? Like I fell in love with Hank Pym because of Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the animated show, because it was so well done. It was superb. In fact, I think I used to say like, I'm the Hank Pym of my generation, like an idiot. Right? Like, I'm not a genius. I'm stupid. The thing is, is, like, I just love his ingenuity. And, like, even, like, the storylines have been so messed up for Ant-Man starting from the first movie. Like, Yellow Jacket is actually just, like, kind of an evil version of Hank Pym. And, like, it is Hank Pym, but just an edgy version, as the ambassador said. That's the best way to put it, because... You thought that he was killing people, he was zapping people with his gun, and you're like, oh, and they disappear, and you thought they were dead. They weren't, they were just shrunk, and then you'd be like, I'm just gonna, I don't know if he put them away somewhere, or what, or I don't remember specifically, okay? I just know that was a thing he did. And so it was like, oh, this dude's gone dark. And he wasn't, he was a little unhinged, he had lost it, you know, he'd seen like, oh yeah, well people love the way Tony Stark does things, so maybe I should be more like that. And Janet actually kind of pushed him that way, because she was busting his chops all the time about that. Even Janet, Janet was such a great character back in the day, because she was into fashion, and she was like, always talking about how like, how much of a hunk Thor was, you know, and it was just hilarious. And it was great because she wasn't afraid to be feminine and still be a... She was still a very likable character. Like, she was one of the core characters. And I really wish they would do, like, an old-school film of, of the original. But what this movie delivers is different generations. And they show how different they are. Like, Scott Lang's not just a ripoff of Hank Pym. And they've shown that in the comics. I feel like they do a better job of it, though, in the movie by separating them because Hank Pym is all about them ants like in the movies like yeah he was in the comics too but like the thing is because Scott Lang still uses ants because he's taken on the mantle but like that's not his main thing like Hank Pym like that he's obsessed with ants like that's his main thing and you see that in this movie and I love how Hank Pym like even though he's like I'm I'm not like fully retired you know, but I'm still the Ant-Man. And even, like, Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp, like, she shows up as, I'm still B.A., you know, like, I'm still hardcore. So it was, it's awesome, Singer. I do think the new Wasp is better than, than it for, for the movie, at least. Scott Lang, they're different, you know. Scott Lang, he's just so different. I love they show those differences. 
His daughter is so much like him, though. That was so cool to see. That was really neat to see. I really, really enjoyed that. That was that was superb. And and Kang, Kang, Kang. I feel like Kang was a real like he was scary. He was a threat. Even the design of Modok. Like I really liked the design of Modok. How like it was actually like a a shield and and kind of a mask as well. But he was also like had that humor to him because he it always has like that humor where you're like. Even if he's not trying to be funny, you want to laugh at him. And that's great. Like, I, I, once again, I was kind of annoyed because it's like, you, once again, you wasted another character or storyline on this same character. But at the same time, like, it made sense for what they're doing. And that's the thing is, what they do in the MCU is what they, is different what they do in the comics. But it works for what they do in the MCU. Right? Like, that's the thing, is that it just works. And so, I, I ended up liking it. And and all in all, like, I ended up liking what they did. And especially with the end credits, you go like, okay, it makes sense. You don't know exactly what happened to Kang, too. Like, that's the thing, is we'll find out, hopefully, later about Kang. They, they leave so much mystery with those extra scenes and stuff. And even, like, the anxiety of Scott Lang. Like, uh, I don't, you know. And we all think like that. And that was so great to see that, to be like... He's one, he's like one of us, you know, we get like that too. And so it was just so great to see. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. So tell me what you thought of it. Talk nerd to me. 